Hey, Dane, what time is it? No, it's steamboat time. Steamboat time. <laughs> Pepper, are you sad you're not going to steamboat? Hmm. That's the look of a sad doggo. We're at the airport. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure. I'm more than sure. I am positive. We're off to Steamboat Music Fest for Texas Week. It's true. Yeah, it's going to be fun. And so I'm going to show y'all all about Steamboat. Maybe Dane will too. Probably. Piper's really not going to be here for this, guys. Sorry. It's okay. It's what, six o'clock in the morning right now? If uh, 528. 5.30. It's gonna be a long day. Welcome to the ride, everyone. I think it's sleep tight. We'll be there in an hour and 50 minutes. I can't. I can't. We're about to take off. Which means nap time. We're cleared for departure. More the mountains because there's mountains. I see snow. All trekked into the hotel room, and this is the beautiful view. I'm so tired. I've been up since 3 in the morning. I'm sitting on a bench next to some pens. You can kind of see them. This line is never going to end. I wish I could show you how long it is and the torture I've been going through. Good morning, friends. It was a long day yesterday, and now I am finally ready to ski. I don't think I am all that well rested, but that's okay. I was actually looking out the window in our hotel room, and it snowed 
so much last night. You can tell it snowed a lot because there's so much fresh powder on the mountain, like no one's touched it. Well, I guess you just saw a skier come down. It's supposed to be, I think, 20 degrees today. Actually, I think it's colder than that. Let me check. Last night, it was extremely cold. It was snowing and we had to wait in line outside. Oh yeah, it's 19 degrees today. So, it's gonna be fun. I will show y'all what it's like to ski at Steamboat today. We're almost to our first route. What are they called? Run. Run, not route, run. It's okay. Yes, I've been skiing for seven years now. I should know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back again. It was a very successful first day of skiing. As you can tell, my hair looks fabulous now. It basically snowed the entire time we were out there, which was great. Now that I'm done skiing, I'm gonna get ready to go to the hot tub because I need to get some relaxation in before I make dinner. And so every night, couples will make a dinner for everyone in the room. And so Dean and I are making chicken enchilada soup. It's gonna be great. And so I'll show you all that later. But first, hot tub. Since everyone's asleep, I have to eat my breakfast in the bedroom. I think yesterday's skiing really took it out of everyone. We've been coming here for seven years now, and I just feel like we're so much older than we used to be, and we get so tired so easily. I'm definitely going slow though because my legs hurt so bad. I am so ready to go sit in the hot tub, but really every day is about the same. It's just come home, eat some lunch, go to the hot tub, do whatever you want to do, really. It's vacation. Do what makes you happiest. See you on the ski trip route. Trails. Trails. Got it. Yeah. It's time for a hot cocoa break with some Baileys. Mm. It's been a long day of skiing and hanging out and I'm real tired. So now it's time to go to bed. But we'll hit the slopes again tomorrow morning. Yeah. Night. Oh, dang. You gotta turn out your light. <laughs> you gotta turn out your light. It's gonna seem like you gotta turn out your light. That's part of the video? Yeah, <laughs> you gotta turn out the light. Good morning, everyone. Today is a very special day. One, because it is Star Wars Day. So, Dane and I like to wear Star Wars shirts on one of the days that we go skiing together. And then on this day last year, Dane actually proposed to me up in the mountains. And so, it's our engage it, engage anniversary, engage anniversary. Sure, that works. The slopes have been less crowded. I think people are getting tired. But that's why you must continue because all of the nice slopes are free now free of the people who don't know how to ski or snowboard or anything. So I'll see y'all out there. So I did a short ski run this morning. Um, Dane, Jack, and Sam all decided to go do some 
crazy challenges, weird challenges, whatever. Just point their nose down the mountain, see how fast they can go. And I'm not about that. I just don't like to go too fast. Anytime I go too fast, I eat it. And I don't enjoy that. So instead, I'm back at like 11. I think you can probably hear the dishwasher. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the morning. And then maybe later I will show you all some concerts because I think they start at like 11 or 11.30 and I can see them right from our balcony, which is really cool. <laughs> So if you're ever interested in coming to Steamboat, there's a fun fact. This is the mountain that most Olympians from the US train on. And I believe it has the most gold medal recipients of Olympians who train on Steamboat. And so it's really cool. They actually have a nice variety of runs and trails and lots of things for you to do. There's like ski biking. I don't know if you've ever seen that or heard of it, but there's that. I just saw someone basically with like ice skating skis essentially, so they're flat on the bottom. It's actually one of our friends, he has them. We have a pretty funny video of that that I'll probably share with y'all, because why not? If you don't think skiing's for you, I still highly recommend it. I didn't think it was something that I would really enjoy, but I've come to love it over the years. I know a lot of my friends, they hate it the first year, but then they come back the second year and then they end up loving it. And so just give it a shot. You don't have to ski, you could snowboard also, but I'm more of a skier personally. And so I think someone's here. Hello? How are you? I'm sorry. No, it's all good. Yeah, I'm just checking your room. Is still, everything's good? Yeah, everything's fabulous. Nice. Okay. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. That was housekeeping. Little awkward. I thought they were already done since our bed was made, but guess not. Anyways, I am going to get some stuff done before Dane gets here for lunch, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side. So today was the last day of skiing. I actually just got out of the hot tub, took a shower, I'm all cleaned off. That means I have to basically pack and get ready for the long adventure home tomorrow, which is really sad. I'm not ready to go home. Tonight's the fun night of eating all of the food that we bought. <laughs> and so I have Jack and Sam are actually making dinner for us now. They're making chili. I think it'll be good. I'm crossing my fingers, it'll be good. I'll let you know. Earlier today, we went and did an escape room and epically failed, but we all blame it on the actual puzzle because it was, there was no clue. It was, it was a poorly done escape room, but it was a tiny little corner of the hotel we're staying in, but that's fine. It's been another fun year. Been going seven years now, and so it's, it's been fun. I can't wait to come back tomorrow. Or not tomorrow. <laughs>
I can't wait to come back in 2021. <laughs> I'm leaving tomorrow. And so tomorrow's gonna be a long day. So I think we're gonna just relax and eat all our food tonight. We'll see if we can do it. Goodbye, Steamboat. It was fun while we were here. Well, today's the day we go home. Sadly, it's a little bittersweet because it was snowing all night long and so skiing today would have been really awesome with all the fresh powder but that's what it is we have a really long journey ahead of us generally it's like a three hour ride just to get back to denver but i think it might be more because it's snowing so much hopefully it's not too bad it's been fun i hope you've enjoyed watching all of the adventures at steamboat now you get to see the adventures of going home the longest day of the entire trip if you like this video go ahead and click the subscribe button below and then let's go on home bye are you stuck oh good you made it okay.